Hey guys, it's Dana and Callie and we're wrapping up our trip in Columbus and while we're crashing because we are exhausted from all the fun we've had, we literally just got showered and said it's time to do it. So you know that Callie and I travel together, mom and daughter, and we have a ton of fun and a lot of laughs. I'm telling you, we we don't go anywhere and not have a, a ton of laughs. So and <laughs> even tonight, I think we should have not gone to so, where were we? Stop. What exactly? I'm sorry. I mess up the name and I feel really bad, but it's a really good restaurant. Okay, we'll go back to that. So anyway, our first stop was at in Bexley and we went to the Harvest Pizzeria. <laughs> oh, that's not just one. They have a lot of them, but that was really good lunch. Yes? Mm -hmm. We had personal pan pizzas and their their style and you could pick four toppings and really good salads with it good chopped salad um love that and then cal had a dessert that was to die for with all of that mm -hmm. what did you have um like a brownie s'mores thing the um the marshmallow on that thing <laughs> that was like just looking at the pictures it's lick the screen kind of situation food porn um and then <laughs> and then where did we go oh we went to um, did we go to Evan Float? Yeah, Evan yeah. Float. Okay, so let's just call this your <laughs> own a really good experience, but you might call it the X-rated and your own. You're totally gonna go naked into this floating tub of water with full of Epsom salt. It is so relaxing and they have different kinds. You can get sealed in with no with light or no light, and you float the float. They're floating tanks, um, and what and then there's the big ones where it's glass and it looks like a big tub. It's twice the size of what you're used to, in glass doors, and you get an hour of relaxed time and your own personal shower. And it is just well. What do you think? You say? Yeah, it was really great. Callie like fell, almost fell asleep in hers. No, I, well, I did. Yeah. I like, blacked out. <laughs> yeah, she totally zoned out. And they say that's like the best thing. It's so zen. Um, and then afterwards, Rick was with us. He's one of the owners. Um, and we sat and had tea with him. That was really good tea time. And we got to learn a lot more about the place. Um, he has the cutest little dog, Benji. Wait till you see this dog. I cannot wait for you guys to see that. So make sure you go to Ebb and Float. Definitely like mom and daughter, girlfriend getaway definitely make the time to go to ebb and float and then we went and where did we go that was we came back here oh we came to the hotel we hotel levesque oh my goodness is this place amazing it is beautiful from top to bottom um boutique autograph collection um the rooms no none of the rooms are the same but they are elegant and upscale, the beds are comfy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we love the bathrooms. Our bathroom, you could see the video of that. Make sure you go to danavento.com or on my Facebook page and check that out because I already popped up the video. I'll throw it up on YouTube too. All right, tell us, oh, dinner. Mm -hmm. Where? Yeah, we had dinner at the Keep. The Keep, the Keep bar it's in the hotel what where do we 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 went in backwards we got, lost. <laughs> we got lost we're in the hotel ask me how we got lost i don't know but it was an elegant dinner and they have so many seafood options and of course a ton of meat and french is what the specialty is and we got to spend time with Corey, the food and beverage manager yeah, he was awesome. so i don't want to shortchange dinner but i have plenty of videos to share with you we had really nice cocktails and um, really totally girls night and the place was filled. So make sure my tip on that is get a reservation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So afterwards we had a really private tour. I want you again, you're going to have to check out my feed, my YouTube and my Facebook page, Dana DV, because we went to the top um, 550 feet up above. And when we saw where we were today, we were just kind of like, oh my God, really? You could, we could saw the whole skyline. So are you going to talk? Yeah, I'm just letting you take it. <laughs> oh, you always <laughs> you let me take it. Say. I always have a lot to say. Um, but that was an awesome night. And our thanks to Corey, it was, that, that was like prime, prime real estate up at the top. And we went into the penthouse. That was cool too. Um, they're still redoing it, but we got on both floors of that. Yeah. Yeah, all the special walkways. So that was wonderful. And then this morning we got up. 
Okay, secret of the hotel. Callie, what's inside the hotel and the first thing we did this morning? Oh, they have a Starbucks in here. Oh, she's so lame when she says it too, isn't she? <laughs> they have a Starbucks. Guys, Starbucks. Okay, there are coffee in the room, but let's be serious. We want to go downstairs. We got Starbucks. And what was it? What did I have? A they Levesque? Have, yeah, they have a latte that's specific to this hotel, and it's called a Levesque latte. It's honey vanilla with... Um, I can't remember what type of coffee he said it was, but it's not a, a shot of espresso. It's it's like a shot of coffee, but it's sweeter than that. And they do whole milk instead of the general 2% so that it's like a little bit of a sweeter taste. Um, but mom got it today with coconut milk. But I Yeah, would... uh, to coconut milk, uh, to me, I wouldn't know the difference if it was sweeter or better, but it was really good, right? Yeah. And, oh, but it was nice to do that. And then we came back quickly and got ready. And then we took off to, this would be Callie's favorite spot now. Oh, yeah, Catalina's. Oh. Uh, it's really great. Okay, so let me set this up for you. It's crazy busy inside. And it didn't look like it was small to me, but the one person was telling us they think it might look busier, but it's it's great. You get to write your names on the tables, the walls, the mirrors, anywhere you can find space. You can write your name with markers, so that's a big draw. Leave your mark there, and that includes in the bathroom. There's chalk. Yeah, I went in and did that. And then the meals. Cal, what did you get? Go ahead. I'll be quiet for a minute. Oh, my gosh. Um, we had a ton of stuff. One of my, like, favorite things there was the pancake balls, which if you go, you have to have them. We had them filled with Nutella, and they come with either veggie sausage or sweet and spicy bacon on the side. And we had sweet and spicy bacon, and it was so No, good. not we. You. Oh, yeah, but they did have the option to have a breakfast sausage that was... Um, I said veggie sausage. Oh, did you? Sorry. Didn't I listen. I was like processing in my own head. Anyways, okay. and then I also had the really popular chick witch, which is just like a fried chicken sandwich, um, egg, cheese, and Frank's Red Hot, which is like something that I would tip, like not typically eat in the morning, but it, it's like a nice, like it was really good. Um, it was like an egg and cheese sandwich on steroids. Can I go? Can I say? Okay. Okay, so we got water in bottles square bottles these are the coolest cartons i can't wait to share it with you it's just box water i don't care but i love that everybody's going to box water <laughs> we did that up in lake george too and i love the water that way coming out of a box it's so much cooler than a plastic bottle and then i went all in i went ahead and had um bless you i went in and had <laughs> avocado toast that was amazing. I think I had pepita seeds on top of there. Really good crunch. Really good smash to the avocado against the crunchy toast. <laughs> what? I mean, I know avocado can be smashed, can be chunked. I mean, they want to know it was smashed. Who explains um, it like that? Yeah, <laughs> I explain it like that. Um, um, we tried two of their soups too. Oh yeah, it was a black bean and there was like a toma something tomole tomole Tomo Tomo yeah that's i don't know i don't think that's no, right yes, moly no it no it, it was moly no it wasn't it was tomole i don't know we don't know it was tomato and something but it was really good they put pepitas in that too oh it was really good crunch against oh look she's taking my words because i said that the texture was really good because it wasn't just like soup it had the good crunchy base to it so that was amazing uh, really good food and a really nice place. <laughs> Standing room only, and it can actually get so busy. And we understand they're opening a second location, mm -hmm. so that was cool. And there was eating, there was a place to eat outside too if it really was too busy. And from there, we went and headed down to West Fifth and started doing thrifting. Oh my goodness, yeah. there are upscale, um, it, how would you describe it? it was, Vintage. This was like vintage boutique shopping. Yeah, but the clothing much. wasn't vintage. Yeah, it was. No. It was really upscale. It was thrifting. Yeah, it was much. thrifting. But let me tell you, if you love Louis, we saw Louis. Who else did we see? Um, the second chance boutique that we went into oh. had, um, like Abercrombie and Fitch and things like Forever 21. They also had like Anthropology and, and Pink, Lululemon and Pink. <clears throat> yeah. And she's Lululemon. the one that had the Vuitton. She was like four stores big. It almost took up its own block. Go yeah. ahead. Talk. No, that sports was clothing. Yeah. They had, they had just had, um, they had really good stuff. We spent a lot of time in there and yeah, we spent a little bit of money in there too. Shh. Don't tell anybody. And then, let's see, after we left there, and we had stopped at two other ones along the way, we headed over, where did we go? We headed over to the um, Botanical Gardens. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> let, what you need to know, free parking, and it's beautiful. Now, we would have spent more time outside, but we it was raining a little bit. Yeah, it was raining, and it rained for a little while, and then we went inside.
and we tore it a lot. I could have stayed in there forever. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice in there. Do be prepared. It's busy. There are a lot of kids. There's a lot of strollers. There's places to eat. They have butterfly releases. Uh, we went in the butterfly room. That was crazy in there. Crazy, crazy busy, really warm. So dressed in layers that you can peel. And um, I would spend at least three hours there between the outside grounds and the inside grounds. I bet you could spend three to four hours. Easy, easy, free parking. Did I say that? Don't know. Okay, and then we went off to Columbus art museum mm -hmm. okay. art. we got shortchanged there because we were running out of time and we had some other things we're going to tell you that we did easily that's two hours at least probably four if you really want to take your time what no okay so all right that's if you like inspect every piece of art and every paint stroke okay but if you're somebody who likes to leisurely walk around and read about the pieces and where they came from and, and stuff like that um probably two hours would be enough Okay, and parking was five dollars there. But how that works is if you buy anything um, at the food the food store or even if the you souvenirs. Buy anything at the souvenir shop, you don't have to pay for parking. Yeah, it's five dollars. If they you buy five dollars or more yeah. of something at this at the souvenir shop. And then outside, make sure you get the pictures of the big A on the street. And there's chairs you could sit if you want to have some fun funky pictures. Okay, and from there, um, where did we? Okay, we went to went to North Market. Oh, we went to North Market. Oh, we went to Jenny's and I had dairy-free ice cream. No, that North Mar that North Market is its own thing. Um, we got Ohio beer for souvenirs. That was one thing. Mm -hmm. We always bring some souvenir home for Mike and usually it's beer. I love doing that unless we're on a plane then they crush it and then you don't have your beer when you go home. <laughs> okay, don't rib me because it's the truth. Every time we're on the plane, it's ridiculous. Hey. Okay, so off of that one. Anyway, so we had a good time in the North Market and we did go to Jenny's. That was really good. What'd you get? Oh, I had lavender flavor. Mm, that wasn't the dairy free, but it was the best flavor I had. Yeah. What'd you get? I had um, peanut butter and jelly. That was dairy free. And then the other two, I had gooey butter cake and um, brambleberry cake or something like yeah. that. And it was really good. Brambleberry. brambleberry. Oh, and she wasn't too nice about sharing. Just to let you know, I would have preferred her picks over mine. And then she was like all upset. Because, wait, she's all upset because. I ate my waffle cone first <laughs> because I was excited over the waffle cone. Okay, well, the waffle wedge. Yeah, it wasn't a cone. A and then from there, um, we went over to make candles, mm -hmm. right? Okay, well, the candle lab. The candle lab. Oh, that was fun. Um, totally different experience. Now, there, sometimes parking is a little bit of a challenge, I'm going to say. We rode up and down the streets. I know there had to be a parking garage. We were missing it. I know we missed the parking garage. But there's plenty of metered parking, which works well. And the Candle Lab experience, you get to browse so many different scents. And okay. okay, so anyway, then you pick a glass and then you'll end up with, what did we do, three flavors? Yeah, you pick the three main ones that you liked. And then they try to figure out how they best work together or if they could, like, if you only like one, but if you only like one 100% and there are a couple of other this, others that you really liked, they try to help you, like, match flavors really well. Yeah, so you don't get, like, a stink bomb <laughs> flavor. Ugh. Anyway, we did that, and then you mix it, but it was only, it's about 30 minutes. Like, from the time you go into the door to make it, it's about 30 minutes, right? Uh, I would say, like, 20 to 30 you like if you really take your time when you're smelling all the candles and like uh. one by one write down what the ones that you like then it's going to take you longer but you kind of just go in there and then um you smell all of the candles that they have like with all of the pre-made scents you write down the ones that you like and then you get to pick your jar and then you get to make your label and th like that's what takes the longest besides the wax actually drying and if you make mistakes <laughs> I think we know I did whenever you're playing with the markers. All right, and then you do it, and you have to come back an hour and a half later. So go shopping. Go eat. Speaking of eating, we stayed up in the area, and um, we what, visited Harvey and Ed's. Harvey and Ed's. That is a really good food. It's a spin on a New York deli, and it's got a really big menu. Tip. Go for happy hour. What was that? Three to six is happy hour? Or yeah. was that four to six? It was four to six. Four to six. And our server was Teal. She was amazing. And she made certain that we actually got to have the happy hour specials as well. Mm -hmm. um, I had a wine that had a, a lily finish. It was really good. It's a springtime wine. Mm -hmm. And you had a sweet one too. Mm -hmm. Oh, get the black and white cookie. We'll show you pictures of that. It was as big as my face. Check out Instagram at Dana DV. I already put it up in there. And what was your favorite piece of that meal? 
I really liked the hummus. We had hummus to start with pita. Like, they make the hummus. And veggie crudite. <clears throat> they they that... make the hummus in, in-house. <laughs> what does she give me a dirty <laughs> look for? It was. <laughs> so, crudite. Crudite. No, you're the dick. <laughs> No, we had. No, mom, crudite is not. You're wrong about it this. It was the veggies. Ve- that you, yeah, it's just yeah. veggies. You don't call it crudite. Crudite it is a dish. It said veggies crudite. Wait till I show you. That's where I got. <laughs> That's the end of my evening. And then we came back to our lovely hotel. We did walk along the um, the water here mm-hmm. and do a quick walk so we could get some outside perspective. But we didn't have any more time. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we had a great time in Columbus. <laughs> Thank you all, and I hope our tips and tricks and our overview of everything helped you just to go around. There's so much more to do. We we didn't have enough time, but it's Dana and Callie, and we thank you and our you know kudos and what brilliant staff at Hotel Levesque, and we also thank Experience Columbus.